Showtime! Oh god, how did I get out of this? So for something like that, that was relatively true. So not a whole lot you could really do. Ooh. Okay. I wish I had to do this anyway. Okay. <laughs> I can respect it. So one thing for Ooh, sure, I would say I want to see a lot more grenades. I don't think we've even pulled a grenade yet. Um, I know I have a reflector, no. but your grenades are better than my reflector, bro. They're basically half your character, in my opinion. Sure. Really bad. Ooh. Unless, unless. God. Okay, nice. Okay. Oh, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it, bro. But if you're being comboed like this, I want to see those grenades come out, right? You got to go for those trades, get used to playing a super high percent as well. Just because you're mm -hmm. much heavier than me, so you can take those trades, right? If I do a combo to you and it could do 50%, uh, you're better off taking the 10% from your grenade and having me only do like 20 or 30 because you get out of it faster, right? Sure. Yeah, I want to see... I want to see a lot more grenade play. Because one of the biggest things about playing Snake is it has to be a legitimate minefield for me to get to you, right? If I can just get sure. to you for free, his boxing tools are okay. Like, forward tilt mm. being, I think it's frame four on the first hit for no reason, so it's good as a turnaround tool. Uh, turnaround tool. Up tilt is good too. But you don't want to live and die by having to get me off of you, right? I should sure. be taking a lot of damage trying to get to you in the first place. So whether you have your C4 mm. down in front of you or you have grenades being cooked, then you're throwing them at me or they're sitting on platforms or you're tossing them on the ground, they're rolling towards me, or whatever, whatever it is, just covering space as much as you can, so I can't just get in there and get grabs and go for combos, right? So in a situation like that, if I'm right up in front of you, if I make a mistake, uh, of course you have to know when to switch gears, as far as, yes, the grenades are good, the placement isn't bad, but there's also been some times where I've been right in front of you, and you pulled the grenade rather than going for a forward tilt or instant dash attack, or uh, even just going for a grab, right? Or a jab. If you're getting stuck in shield a lot, you could be also going for a nair out of shield and down nair out of shield, right? They're longer lasting hitboxes. They're pretty strong. Um, if you happen to catch me, it just gets me off of you as well, right? You are absolutely insane. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, nice. Okay. So you don't want to give me too much space when you're ledge trapping, right? I know you threw the grenades out there. Uh, the ledge, I'd probably see, rather see more Nikita to try and stop me from getting back, right? Which you threw out the one, which is totally fine. But then also go for the up smashes. You could have C4 at the ledge or at, at roll distance to help you cover that uh, spot as well. So if you want to stand up closer and go for like down smash, or not down smash. Uh, yeah, I guess down smash is fine. Up smash. Uh, or like up tilt, right, to try and catch my jump or my neutral get up, you can do that. And then if I roll, you can also blow me up with the C4, right? So it's like another obstruction that you can throw out, so I have to worry about when I kind of get back on stage. Just throwing stuff out, there you go, good catch, I got wild. <laughs> it's all good. I saw that one coming on. <laughs> Yeah, getting the C4 out like that. Like that down there, since you were at zero, that could have been a lot worse. Right? Mm. So getting those grenades out there just to stop me. That's definitely what you want to do. You got no jump. Oh, God. Not oh. a lot you can do there. So what you could have done there, like potential mm -hmm. last mix-up you could have gone for, is you could have let go of your... Uh, 
Cypher and gone for an air dodge up. So if you air dodge sure. up right there, I it's not guaranteed that you would have got past, but if I thought you were going to air dodge to the ledge, I would have let go of the down smash early and you would have been able to get past me, right? So mm -hmm. I was looking for you to air dodge to the ledge there. So whether you air dodge to the ledge mm -hmm. or not, let's say you just let go and try to go like straight to the ledge, the down smash is going to cover that as long as my timing is good, right? Oh, God. I'm sad. Oh, nice. Oh, could have been a lot worse. If you up tilted me, I would have died for sure. That's something I don't use enough is up tilt. Oh, it's your best move, bro. Hands down. <laughs> I know. Everyone tells me to use it more, and I never do. Yeah, it's frame Ooh, fix. Pokes. It kills at like 90 for no reason. It, may, it makes you want to die. Uh, I feel like I always think it. whenever I want it to hit, it doesn't hit. Oh, bro. Then not. You gotta be I'm not using it well then enough. I feel like that that shit hits from mm. front, above, below, everywhere. <laughs> it's not a super lasting or long lasting hitbox, but the hitbox is definitely massive. Okay, Oops. that just worked. Oh. Don't let it be me! Don't let it be me! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, bro. Oh man, it's wow. all good. So yeah, yeah you're definitely um, you're, you're a lot better than the competition I'm usually facing. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> and I can honestly say that's one of the things too. Um, whenever I'm doing coaching sessions, for the most part, I I'm not really trying to sweat it out super hard, right? Like we're trying to, I'm trying to see how you play and try and put you in certain situations, see how you deal with it and stuff like that too. But then yeah, like once you once you start to play more and more competitively, you're gonna find some people that are in a whole other bracket as far as like uh as good as me if not better than me too right so uh if you're competing or looking to start competing or competing more or whatever the uh situation may be for yourself then yeah it's just another level up that you're gonna have to get used to right it's a whole other pace cool. you could even say huh? there you go nice I get something on the ledge there, right? I'll smash his Nikita, C4, something. Pull the grenade, just lob it straight up. Yep. Bruh. We're mashing, bro. No up tilt. No up tilt. He's throwing. <laughs> if you do an up tilt right there, I'm probably dead. What's he doing? What am I doing? Up tilt? We thought about it. We almost had that too. I thought about I, oh. I, I, I put it, but uh, it, just, it didn't get off in time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, dancing, bro. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, no? oh god. Got him. Wow. Okay. I think it's got some good range. Whoa, and nice that was closer, it. maybe. Oh, so if I'm gonna do what I just did there, you could be going for a back air just to hit me from uh, doing the up B right there. But you don't have to respect it too much. Uh oh, what am I doing? Uh oh, that should have been an up tilt right there. No up tilt. Oh. He's throwing. <laughs> <laughs> up tilt. There it is. Let's go. There we go. Uh, I'm not happy. With, I don't know I why really I'm happy need... that I died, but I guess so. <laughs> Oh, man, man you, you, you're like every other person that uh, complains about me not using the up tilt. You gotta do it, bro. Like I said, he's definitely not up tilt the character, but his up tilt is kind of godlike. Wow. Right, we'll keep going. Okay, so I'm learning a lot. I'm not using my grenades enough. Uh, I'm not punishing you enough with up tilt. Yep. I'm not even using my down air out of shield at all. And that's that's a pretty good option, too. Yeah, down air out of shield, and air out of shield. Um,. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, that's the thing. I would say Snake is one of those characters where you can learn a lot from just playing with him and trying to learn your like your mental game and your your understanding of decision making. But his his tech skill is what makes a character first of all difficult, but second of all, uh, I guess applicable or have some sort of um, uh, viability for him. Because cool. if you don't if you don't have his tech skill down, like you're missing out on so much of the character, and you, you kind of have to go to the lab to figure that stuff out. Right, like knowing mm. how to combo. Like if you hold your grenade while you're in shield, 
if somebody hits your shield mm. and it hits your grenade, you can combo that into up air, into back air, into fair, all kinds of stuff. If you're using mm. your shield, your shield dropping your grenades as well, instead of letting go of them, um, instead of throwing them as well, so like dropping them on the ground like that, there's reason to put them on the ledge, for example. So like running up to the very like the absolute ledge right here, you can shield drop your grenade and have it fall off the edge, right? And you can intercept recoveries with that. You can be shield dropping grenades uh, at roll distance, so you can cover get up attack range with neutral get up yourself. Uh, you can put something at roll distance, uh, neutral get up distance. You can be covering the jump, so you can be going for like back airs or up airs, uh, stuff like that, right? So you have a lot more control of your grenades as well. It's not just throwing them, right? But some of this stuff, it just mm -hmm. doesn't cross your mind when you're playing at full speed. Being able to do your tech skill with your grenades or being able to wave bounce or be reverse your uh, C4 or your grenades while you're trying to recover. Uh, I'd say that's one of the biggest things too, is if you're ever coming down with your with your up B, coming down from super high up, you should be wave bouncing yep. or be reversing your uh, grenades and C4. Grenades. So it's harder for me to hit you on the mm. way down too. Also, you have things protecting you on the way down. So if I jump up with like an up air, as you drop a grenade, if I hit this, if I hit the grenade, I could potentially die off the top or I can get comboed off of it mm. into you, right? Or I have to just wait mm. down here and let it happen and let you get down for free. There you go, downer. That sets you up into a tech chase situation too. Notice how I was sent super close to you. You could have got that down air into a tech chase uh, and got like a forward tilt, right? Or you could have got like a dash attack. So down air into dash attack. It's not going to be true, but it definitely would work. Oh, he's trying to put me on Yeet Smash. That's crazy. No, I got <laughs> Now you're going on Yeet and Smash, I get bro. Punished for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is bad. Oh, my God. It was actually cracked. If you didn't do that, I might have died. I thought like 140 or 130. So I'm at the magical percent right now. If you down throw me into up tilt, I can't escape it. I don't know if you, if you know yeah. about that, right? 160? Yeah, yeah. Um, after, after 159, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can just do it. So yeah, if you're only using up tilt there, at least you're using up tilt. But <laughs> you should yeah. definitely try and throw. It I as always, much as you can. I only ever use up tilt in that in that scenario. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very sick. Hold on. Up tilt. Now there. Again. Oh no, oh, not the right dude. <laughs> oh man, fear. He's dead. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> you know what's funny? I used to do a series back in the day, and the series yeah. was called uh, Real Time Smash. And all I did is yeah. I'd go on Elite Smash and I'd just play and I'd commentate what's happening. And everybody would say, like, while I'm commentating, oh, his camera is ahead. Like, my camera was desynced from my gameplay because I would say something and then it would happen. Right? So yeah. instead of reacting to stuff, I was basically predicting everything. And mm -hmm. once you get good enough at the game, you can just predict when things happen, like kind of like that. Like I literally said, mm. you're dead before I even down tilted, right? Yeah, legit. And it wasn't guaranteed that that was gonna happen, of course. But it's like if what I think is gonna happen is gonna happen, then you're gonna die, right? So I do that kind of stuff mm. all the time, and it's like it's partially for comic comedic, uh, comedic effect, like when I was doing it back in the day. But also as far as even though it's supposed to be comedic, as far as that, I guess setting. In a real life game, you should know. You should be able to say, okay, you're going to get caught for your jump right here. You're going to roll right here. You're going to spot dodge. You're going to let me grab you. You're going to get hit by this up smash. Like you should be able to say that type of stuff, whether or not it's verbally or just in your head, right? It's just making predictions. And if you do it, I guess, fast enough, you sound like an auctioneer and it's kind of hilarious because <laughs> you're just going nuts the whole time. But when you're making good predictions or a lot of predictions, like that's kind of how your brain should be working. It should be going super fast and for the most part, trying to keep track of everything that's happening too. 